There is a reason that the wild tangle of the Amazon jungle is one of the most heavily studied areas of the world. The wealth of undiscovered knowledge and secrets that lie hidden beneath the vines and branches is seemingly endless, and every day it seems that more and more amazing findings are revealed. One such discovery is the pyramids of the Amazon. For years now, historians and archaeologists who studied the Amazon rainforest have long said that the area was once the location of vast settlements, being inhabited by locals who managed to use the region to their advantage. With the introduction of lidar technology, it's allowed scientists to unravel some of these mysteries, and has helped us to uncover settlements that were previously unknown. For those unaware, lidar uses the pulse from a laser to collect measurements, and this in turn then creates 3D models and maps of objects and environments. This tool has become extremely useful in recent years, helping archaeologists and scientists map out areas that were previously unreachable, and this is exactly what happened in the Amazon rainforest. Percy Fawcett dedicated his research to exploring South America and looking for a lost Amazonian city before he went missing in 1925. The expedition during which Fawcett went missing was on his search for Z, the name given to an ancient lost city he and others believe was tucked away in the jungles of Brazil. We never found out exactly how the quest for Z went. Did Fawcett find evidence of the city or not? While we may never be able to answer that question, we can indeed draw closer to finding out where cities may have fallen in the Bolivian Amazon. In 2022, scientists uncovered pyramids and canals sitting beneath the forest. Of course, the trees and greenery can obstruct an aerial view, though LiDAR technology has facilitated researchers' abilities to see through these trees and reveal hundreds of structures and settlements. These discoveries are said to have come from the Kassarov culture of 500 to 1400 AD. LiDAR is a relatively new development that has proved to be invaluable in the field of archaeology. In this study, it allowed researchers to move through the dense rainforest and make the discovery of pyramids, canals and what seemed to be town-like civilizations. In this expedition, scientists from Germany and the UK used helicopters fitted with light detection in order to search through six regions of Bolivia. The Colorado State University archaeologist Chris Fisher said the following, this is the first of what I hope will be a huge series of studies that will blow the lid of preconception about what pre-Hispanic polities looked like in the Amazon in terms of their complexity, size and density. The development of technology will continue to let us explore, discover and revolutionize our understanding, slowly changing the world as we see it. The Undiscovered Species of the Amazon Although it can be hard to believe that there's undiscovered species that haven't yet been found, scientists have revealed that every year around a thousand new species are discovered, and the Amazon jungle is one such place where new creatures are constantly being discovered. One of the most interesting accounts of a strange discovery made within the dense Amazonian jungle is that of modern-day accounts of a large ground sloth. Though many locals refer to the creature as the Mapanguari, an ancient Brazilian monster of native folklores and legends, described as having the skin of a reptile, one large eye, a second mouth on its stomach, long claws and backwards feet. Many modern day sightings instead describe the creature as being that of a massive sloth-like creature that moves slowly, has long arms capable of tearing apart trees, a sloped back and can stand up to seven feet tall while being covered from head to toe in a thick and borderline impenetrable matted fur. Interestingly, what many people are not aware of is the fact that when Charles Darwin first visited areas all across South America, he came across the bones of a now extinct megafauna known as the giant ground sloth, a large cousin of the modern day sloths throughout South America, but estimated to have stood at the size of a bear. When he first discovered the bones, Darwin remarked at how young they looked, believing the bones to have been freshly made by an animal that had just recently passed away. Further studies would confirm that the giant ground sloth would be around as recent as 10,000 years before the Great Ice Age, 
and could have survived for a short period afterwards. This has left many believing that perhaps the modern day accounts of the Mapinguari are merely encounters with surviving members of the giant ground sloth. The discovery of a humpback whale. Though the jungles of the Amazon rainforest are known for hosting a wide number of unexpected and undiscovered species, one such discovered species has left many researchers puzzled as to the strange behaviour exhibited by the species found on the shores of the jungle. This species is that of the large humpback whale. Back in February of 2019, a number of Amazonian conservation researchers found the body of a young humpback whale, washed ashore on one of the many forested islands within the Amazonian river. This was a surprise as the species has never been seen this far into the jungle, nor does it make sense that the whale would be anywhere near the region given the fact that the Amazon River is not a natural habitat for the creature, and the humpback whale should have been in the middle of their migration to Antarctica during this time. The body of the humpback whale was discovered when researchers travelling through the area noticed a large number of vultures. This has led many to say that perhaps it's far more commonplace for the humpback whale to travel down the Amazon River, as any remains of such an encounter would be picked dry and disturbed by the numerous species all throughout the jungle. This theory is also supported by the fact that many researchers have noticed a growing population of the humpback whale off the coast of Brazil, believing that perhaps younger males of the species are using the river to cut across South America for their journey. The Mystery Lines Tribe members as well as hikers have long reported mysterious lights above the Amazon describing them as ball of lights that have the ability to move between the jungle. This phenomenon is well documented, but as of right now no one's been able to offer an explanation for what these lights are, and how they're able to move so easily through the dense jungle. Some of the earliest reports come from tribe members who reported seeing odd lights in the sky, only for them to say that they would either vanish or fly at extreme speeds throughout the jungle. One of the frustrating things when it comes to these sightings is that they're extremely hard to catch on camera, due to them not having any physical properties that stick out, and due to the speeds in which they're able to achieve. Even explorers that have managed to catch these objects in the modern day have been left frustrated when checking their camera, as all that appears is just a blur, and can't be presented as evidence as nothing can be seen. Oddly enough, these sightings are not just happening within the Amazon, and people all across the world have been encountering these lights when they least expect it, describing them as being balls of energy that don't make a sound, and that have the ability to turn and move at extreme speeds. What many amateur researchers can't agree on though is what these things are, where they're coming from and why they're so interested in the Amazon jungle. Detailed in the vast majority of witness reports, these glowing lights were known for appearing out of nowhere, suddenly within the blink of a night and disappearing just as quickly, vanishing into thin air or shooting off at incredible speeds impossible to replicate. A few of these lights were described as being larger than 4 meters in length, with other sightings describing them as having the physical characteristics of a glowing solid ball, with recounted stories emphasizing that the objects appear to glow bright colors while demonstrating incredible violations of the basic laws of physics. Most of the eyewitnesses describe these objects as being small, estimating that they're no bigger than a basketball. According to the gathered data surrounding the lights throughout the 1930s and early 1940s, by 1946 it's believed that more than 4,000 individual and consistent sightings had been documented across Brazil with the inclusion of more than 200 of these sightings later being verified by independent researchers. Gathered intelligence from around the world has shown that these sites have been witnessed now since at least the 1930s, and yet we're still no closer to understanding what they are. Hikers who've seen them while exploring the Amazon jungle reported that it was like they were investigating the area, flying close to the ground, pulsating and then flying off. It's not just humans in the jungle that these lights seem to be interested in. Ranchers have long reported that their cattle get spooked during the night, which has led some ranchers to install cameras in order to get to the bottom of why this keeps happening. 
This has only caused more confusion though, as when they looked through their night cameras they could see strange lights approaching their cattle, with the ranchers again saying that it was like these glowing lights were inspecting the animals. It's obvious that these lights are physical, as the animals can be seen running away from them. Although these lights are well documented and have been seen by thousands of people, we're still no closer to understanding what they are. The asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs may have created the Amazon. The asteroid that plummeted to Earth over 66 million years ago and ended the reign of the dinosaurs is a well-known phenomenon. However, recent discoveries have led researchers to believe that the infamous meteorite may have been responsible for something else. The creation of the impressively diverse Amazon rainforest. A study published in the journal Science analyzed thousands of fossilized plants in an attempt to understand the effects of the mass extinction caused by that fateful asteroid. An estimated 75% of all life on Earth from gigantic dinosaurs to microscopic bacteria went extinct as a result, but now the area is home to one of the most diverse ecosystems. Analyzing the effects of this first mass extinction is crucial in understanding what might happen as a result of a second human-caused mass extinction, and what the researchers found surprised them. According to this study, it appears that the same blast that wiped out such a significant portion of life on Earth was also responsible for creating the entirety of the tropical rainforest on our planet. As expected, analysis of plant fossils from before and after the blast revealed drastically altered landscapes. The land was full of sparsely growing conifers and ferns, whose wide spacing allowed plenty of light to reach the ground. So unlike the dense choking jungle that we're familiar with in the Amazon today, following the extinction of millions of species, Plant diversity declined an estimated 45%, and analysis of over 50,000 fossilized pollen records show that flowering plants predominated the region for the next 6 million years, covering what had once been called a semi-diverse land, with what has now been called the Reign of Flowers. As the area began to recover from the devastation and new species started to emerge, the plants began growing much more thickly allowing for dense vertical growth that promoted the development of new species of shade-loving plants that thrived in the new ground level of developing jungle. The researchers offered three predominant theories as to why the regrowth looks so different from what it was before. The first and most widely accepted is that the enormous dinosaurs that roamed the area before their extinction prevented more dense growth, simply due to their large bulk that trampled plants. Another reason was the sheer number of plants that the huge herbivores likely consumed. The other two theories suggest that the falling ash from the blast may have created soil that was more beneficial to the faster growing flowering plants, or that the extinction of the conifers provided a perfect opportunity for the flowering plants to take over. The researchers were so interested in the before and after of this great meteorite because the Amazon rainforest and surrounding areas is currently undergoing what is called the second mass extinction, only this one is caused entirely by humans. So what do you make of these Amazon jungle discoveries and mysteries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.